troubleshooting your fence begins back at the fence energizer. You will perform the following test to diagnose where the problem is. First, unplug the energizer. Disconnect the leadout wire and the ground wire from the energizer. Turn the fence energizer on and read the voltage on your charger. All readings should be a minimum of 5,000 volts. If less than 5,000 volts, there's a problem with the energizer. If the energizer is okay, you must retest the fence. Make sure you turn your fence energizer off before you reconnect the two leadout wires. And make sure you plug it back in before you walk out to where the charger is connected to the fence. Walk back out to where the energizer is connected to the fence. And using the voltmeter, test the fence. The ground pin on the voltmeter should be connected to the second from the top grounded line. The hook on the voltmeter goes on the electrified fence line. Touch the voltmeter hook to the copper on the braid for a solid electrical connection. Make sure all readings are a minimum of 5,000 volts and test all of the lines. Any reading less than 5,000 volts means there's a problem with the leadout wire or you have crossed wires during installation. The next test is the most important. Check the voltage of the electrified fence line to the soil. Place the ground pin about a half inch into the soil and test each positive line of electrobraid. All strands should test above 5,000 volts. Repeat the same test at any high points and dry areas along your fence. If any test is below 5,000 volts, there's a problem with your earth return system and you'll have to test your earth return system. To test your earth return system, you're testing to make sure your fence is grounded sufficiently. Turn your fence charger off. Then choose a location at least 350 feet away from the energizer. You want to short circuit the fence to test the ground system. Do this by laying metal stakes or pipes against only the bottom strand of the fence. Then, go back to the energizer and turn it back on. If you have a digital voltmeter, apply the ground pin to a screwdriver placed in the ground at least three feet from the ground rod. Apply the voltmeter to the ground rod. The reading on the voltmeter should be 300 volts or less. If it is greater than 300 volts, you'll need more ground rods. If you have a five light voltmeter, you'll need to perform the following test. Before you walk back, make sure you're wearing plastic or rubber shoes because your next step is to place one hand on a ground rod, then slowly place a finger on a blade of grass. If you feel no tingling of electricity, place your hand firmly on the ground. If you still feel no tingling, your grounding is okay. If you do get that electrical tingling feeling, add more ground rods or contact an Electrobraid customer service technician for advice on grounding your fence. With your Electrobraid fence properly installed and properly electrified, you'll have a fence that is safe and secure for your animals with little or no maintenance for you.